Um, hello, Kapil. Um, I've been following you for many years now, and uh, your work has been truly transformational for me, where I'm almost at a stage where I can say that I have no questions left um, except for one thing that I, I guess sometimes is on my mind and bothers me. I, I'm not particularly seeking enlightenment, um, but I am drawn to it and some processes started to unfold with me where things are changing. I'm, I'm okay with it in a way, but part of me is a bit scared in the sense that, that I'm a mother and a wife and what that would mean with my ability f to function. And it's a ridiculous fear, and I, I, I know it's a ridiculous fear, but uh, there is something I'm, I don't understand about being hit with enlightenment. Well, no, I, I don't think I don't think it's a ridiculous fear. Um, <sighs> the, I mean, making the statement that it's a ridiculous fear, it's not a vi it's not a viable statement because the if it was that ridiculous, then you wouldn't be feeling it. So it's there. So it's right. There, so yeah. the the. So what happens is that humans don't – so if I make a statement about the mind or people read my my work and you know, they have all these ideas and um, notions and that they attach, that they bring – that they – like if I could write you know X, Y, and Z, but then they bring their A, B, Cs, Ds, and Es, and Fs, and yeah. Gs, and so forth, and, and so then they – they they bring their own baggage, right? So they don't just read the X, Y, and Z. And that isn't to say that you should read the X, Y, and Z and do what the X, Y, and Z says that I write because I don't tell you what to do. There's no nothing to do. There is no X, Y, and Z for you to do. So um, I fully understand that that's, you know, human beings' minds are not empty. They're full of garbage, right? They're just full of conditioning you know, over having lived on the earth for, you know, 20, 30, 40, 90 years, whatever it is. And uh, so they're going to bring their A, Bs, and Cs, right? And because that's the case and because that's absolutely going to happen because no one – you're not going to have a, you know, a permanently quiet mind, uh, so they're going to have their A, Bs, and Cs. But because that's happening, then – that is evidence for the fact that they don't understand, right? And I'm not going to spend four hundred thousand pages writing, you know, each about to each topic. And even if I did, you still wouldn't understand because there has to be, there has to be prerequisites. They have to be understandings based upon understandings. And so, most people take my work out of context. Okay. I'm trying to explain to you how things happen, giving you a comprehensive sort of answer. I hear. Um, yeah. So, most. What did I just say? What was my last statement? You know what I just said. Most most people take words out okay, of context, good. Yes. so people misread right, you. Okay. Yeah. So most people, t almost everyone, takes my. They read my thing, and uh, and most of it they read out of context. And the reason that they read it out of context is obviously not because they want to. It isn't deliberate. It's because they don't have the prerequisite understandings to truly understand what is being said. Therefore, when they read about something like, you know, enlightenment or realization, or, you know, if I write about, you know, the mind, they will naturally and understandably, and I'm not placing any fault here because there is no fault. Um, they were naturally and reasonably, you know, come up with a or have a feeling like in this case, in your example of, well, if I have, you know, enlightenment or, you know, if I conquer the mind or whatever it may be, then then I'll become, you know, uh, cold hearted to my family and have to move to a cave. And if my children need something, I won't care at all. And 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 so. It doesn't matter what I say to that. Like it, it, I could say, no, you won't do that, right? Well, I would never say that because 
me saying that doesn't do anything. The the power of the A, B, and C that you bring, which in this case is, you know, I'll be cold hearted and won't care about anybody. That the power of that is very dominant. And nothing can override that. So you know, like I can tell you, no, you won't. No, you won't feel that way. Okay. That's not going to do anything. Like the because the fear that won't get rid of your fear, right? But the reason that the fear exists, the reason that those A, Bs, and Cs exist is because you have not gotten the truth about the, I mean, the whole truth about that particular topic, you know, in this case, the mind, enlightenment, whatever it may be. And if you don't have the whole truth about a topic, then you're always walking in on the middle of a conversation, so to speak, then you absolutely will misunderstand the vast majority of things, or at the very, very, very least, there will be holes in your understanding. You may understand a particular thing more than your neighbor, if they read my stuff, but both of you will have holes. And because there's holes in your understanding, there has to be fear and concern and uncertainty and anxiety and trepidation and all there has to be right because you don't know so 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 the the, so the most critical thing literally i mean it's it's literally the most critical you could i would say it's the only thing to do in life really is to do what to your hair is on fire you're burning up, you're about to die in the next five minutes. And the only thing that can save you is to know the truth. And by the way, you literally are on fire, right? You are going to die, and so am I. So everything, this is life and death, literally. And the reason it's life and death, it isn't spirituality. I mean, it's just, it's so comic book nonsense, spirituality. You know, you could live it, you could live without or live with it. This you can't live without. And my proof is that you're not living. And I'm not picking on you. I'm saying everyone. No, because they don't know the whole truth. And if you know the truth, then all of the other questions and all of the other concerns that bother, they go away. Because now you know that the, all of those things are based upon misunderstandings. All of those things are based upon not having understood. All of those things are based upon, all the problems are based upon you not knowing the truth. And therefore, you know, second grade logic, if that is the cause of your all your life problems, there is no amount of time, there is no amount of money, there is no amount of uh, dedication, there is no amount of anything that is, you know, that is not worth getting it. And and like, there's just, because it's your life, right? Now, me saying that doesn't mean that you should try to get it. I'm not saying you should. I'm saying why those fears exist about, in this case, you know, the, um, you know, I'll become cold and don't care of anybody. That's why those things, because you don't know the whole story, right? You just look at the pun. You look at the headline, and you look at the, and you turn it into a punchline, and you, and you, you just know one. You don't know any of it. And so those who learn the whole truth are the ones who own their lives. Thank you. This is very helpful. Thank you.